What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to improve your gaming setup or your desk setup uh, just to make it look more cleaner and more modern for today's age. And I think it'll help you guys out. They're pretty simple, so without wasting time, let's start it off. The first one is going to be go wireless. Now this may not be the most efficient route for someone who is a competitive gamer because you know a lot of times wireless peripherals aren't ideal for competitive gaming, but going wireless is going to do a few things. It's going to make your desktop look a lot more organized and it's going to free up any cables and any extra clutter that you would have ordinarily with wired peripherals. So for example, having a wireless keyboard and a mouse is going to free up a lot of space and it's going to give you more freedom to also move it around. But if you do want to stick with your wired peripherals, not a problem. Uh, some things I would suggest is to keep them organized if you're not using them. So you can see in the back, I have my keyboard and mouse pushed back to the edge of my desk where it's going to free up a lot of room on my desktop. And another suggestion would be look into desk grommets. They have things out there where you can drill tiny holes into your desk to wire the cables through. And the grommet's gonna you know keep it organized and safe so your cables don't get snagged or anything going through your desk a minor suggestion there go wireless or just organize your cables the next tip is going to go hand in hand with my first one and that is keep it clean now this one kind of has two meanings the first one obviously keeping it clean in terms of its appearance I have a white desktop, so keeping it clean is a top priority for me because white shows a lot of dirt, scuffs, and dust. And that's just a big problem, so I wipe it down at least once a week to make sure it looks really nice and so that white pops. The second one here is its appearance in terms of decluttering, having a clean setup with going the route of less is more. When you have a lot of stuff going on, there's just a lot of clutter and a lot of objects or peripherals on your desktop, it's just gonna kinda take away from its overall appearance. I think going the route of less is more with having more organized and less stuff on your desktop will have a overall nicer appearance in the end. The next one's a little bit different, I'll admit, and it's kind of odd, but it's something that gets commented on when people watch my setup videos more often than not, and it really surprised me. And this tip is to go green. And I don't mean like, you know, having green peripherals and a green desktop, or I'm not promoting Razer here. I mean go green in terms of something like a succulent plant or some sort of, you know, green shrubbery. Something little like this. Now why am I suggesting this? This is a completely personal opinion on my end, but I think having some sort of, you know, just life to your setup in terms of a plant or a bonsai plant or those fake little grass things from Ikea that everyone has, it really adds to the setup, kind of breaks it up, and it just adds a different dimension, I think, in my personal opinion. And honestly, with my desk setup and my gaming setup, um, people comment all the time, where did you get that plant or what plant is that? And the one that I have, I like it because, you know, I think this green breaks it up has the black and white in it to complement my setup's theme. This is an $8 fake plant from Target. A little different suggestion, but I just think it would add a lot of life to your setup. The next tip is a big one and it's kind of a no-brainer, but people hate it, and that is your cable management. And I'm not referring to the first one that we talked about with your uh, peripherals cables, with going wireless, but just your overall cable management as a whole for your entire setup. For me, I have a lot going on. Two monitors, a ton of peripherals, a lamp, a lot of you know lighting around my setup as well with my PC, and there are a ton of cables, but I have them all neatly organized underneath my desk with a little cable gutter that keeps it all organized and constricted under my desk. Now I think it's important because it's kind of a make it or break it in terms of the appearance of your setup because when you don't have good cable management and cables are just everywhere and very noticeable, people are going to comment on that and you, you don't want that. You just want a nice overall appearance. So definitely make sure to sharpen up on your cable management skills. Winding down now, this tip is going to be fill your gaming setup or your desktop with productivity. What I mean by that is fill it with stuff that you're going to use most often and get the best experience out of. It doesn't matter if you have one monitor, two monitors, three monitors, ten monitors. Fill it with what you need to make the best overall experience for you and what you need it for. 
For me, I have the two ultra-wide monitors stacked up top. I usually have two headsets or headphones on my desktop at all times. That's because it's gonna overall help me with my productivity in terms of what I'm doing, especially for stuff like gaming and video editing. The two monitors really helps me out and having two headphones also does as well for if I wanna just switch out for different experiences, whether I am gaming, like I said, or whether I want to uh, monitor audio for video editing. Just fill your overall desktop with stuff that's gonna benefit you. And the last one is tasteful backlighting. Now this tip is kind of important because RGB or LED lights is an absolute craze right now. And everyone loves filling their room with LED lights because they're cool and they add a whole separate dimension to the ambience of your room. That's great, but don't overdo it. I have one LED light strip on the back of my TV to add as like a backlighting for when I'm gaming or watching TV and it's nice. I also have a white RGB light strip around my uh, my overall desk to kind of add to the ambience at night, whether I'm gaming or just, you know, video editing on my desktop and the lights are out. It just adds a different experience and I really like it, but it's not overbearing, it's not too much. I think the white lights on my desk is tasteful and it goes along with my theme. I've seen so many people have RGB lights just on everything and tons of different colors in their room at once and it's just kind of overkill. So if you're gonna go the, the route of LED lights in the back of your monitor or your TV, your desk, do it tastefully, do not overdo it. All right guys, it's gonna wrap it up now for my video on tips to improve your gaming setup or your desktop setup. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped you out a lot, gave you some good ideas. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up to show your support. Also, if you're not familiar, I have launched a Patreon page in order to help support upgrading my entire gear for the channel. I'm talking about like my video gear. It's gonna be upgrading almost everything. You can check it out. And one of the reward tiers is actually me Skyping or having a Google Hangout session with you to give you personal tips and tricks on how to improve your gaming setup. You can send me photos in advance or just while we're Skyping, you can show me your desk, uh, your desktop, your gaming setup, and I will give you my personal ideas and suggestions things to help organize your setup and make it look a lot nicer and cooler so if you want to support the channel as well as my video upgrade definitely check out the patreon and I can Skype with you to help you out if you haven't already please hit subscribe I've done a ton of tech videos in the past and I got a lot coming up in the future hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm random Frank P have a good day